Welcome back to another episode of Mima on Cloud Fetty. Back at it. So, this episode is going to be about this show that we love. I love. I got him hooked on it. Yeah. Called Married at First Sight. And it's season 12. We have been watching it for a long time. But this season, we got to talk about it. It's a lot of characters on here. Especially one in particular. It, to me, it didn't really start yet uh, with this particular series. I don't really get too hyped within the first week or two okay. of the show of them getting married, them on a honeymoon. To me, all that is like a natural high. When it start getting real for me and exciting and intense is when they locked up in their brand new apartment for a while. That's true. And That's they true. arguing and they don't like this person. Nobody's sleeping with each other. They're on opposite ends of the couch. They just can't <laughs> stand the person. That's when everything starts settling in and I think you get past all like the glamour and gold and it starts getting to the hard part, which is working through the relationship and building like the relationship. That's real marriage. Not going on honeymoons and you know, meeting I mean, the family hey, is like it's exciting at first, but it's not the real. That is true because I feel like for the marriage and the honeymoon, it's like ah, everybody's smiling, everything is cool. Then when they start living together, they're like, you know, this guy, he he be sleeping in another room. So anyway, we're gonna get into this cast and we're gonna do it real quick. So season twelve, first couple is Clara and Ryan, and um, Ryan is. I believe he's like mixed or something like that. But they're both, they both yeah. seem like very fun, free spirited people. Down to earth. Down to earth, chill. I can see this couple really lasting. Like, you know, it seems like she accepts him for who he is and he accepts her for who she is. It's only like, um, I think, a rift because his parents are pastors or something like that. Okay. And, um,. She doesn't really go to church like that. So yeah. that's the only thing. But I feel like they're just trying to create some type she, of she's drama. In, she's in her head often and she thinks about things that I don't think she should necessarily be thinking about. Um, the only way the relationship wouldn't last is if she gets like in her own way or starts driving him crazy or if she allows her insecurities to like hit the surface and start affecting relationship that's the only thing i can see other than that yeah when she stop when she gets out of her head and just lets it flow him too if he don't come up with no funny stuff i can see them lasting a long time having a good time really enjoying their relationship having children all that stuff agreed the next couple is Haley and jacob oh god jacob First of all, the only thing I remember about this guy is that he eats steak and eggs every day. And that right there, I'm just thinking about how them farts going to be smelling. Oh, he gonna God. He's going to be tearing up that bathroom because who could eat all of that steak and eggs every day? That's that's a lot. It's, it's, it's just in general, <laughs> you know, you know, <sighs> come on, brother. Like, you got to have some room to bend. And if you eat steak and eggs every day... I think you turn off the average person because it seems like you're not willing to compromise. Exactly. So it's it just, to me, it seems like it's very hard to get a relationship. And apparently, maybe that's why he's on the show. Because he can't get a relationship like that because he keeps eating steak and eggs. Yeah, he seems like <laughs> one, one of those very structured people. Like, he wakes up every day at the same time. He goes to bed at the same time. He eats his steak and eggs. He goes to the gym for two hours. Like, he seems very structured. And um, Haley seems like... Nice, cool, go with the flow, but um, she hasn't had a real relationship in seven years. That's my issue with her. Yeah, like, about um, it don't seem like nothing's wrong with her. However, I would question that, and again, it goes back to some of the other videos that we've been doing on relationships and stuff like that, and not jumping in, feeling like you can change. Um, I would question that if I was with her just trying to get to see what happened. And that's a very, very long time. It, it is. And you're right. Because we're still trying to get past like the, um, the honeymoon stage. So I think maybe this episode this week is when they're going to be living together and stuff. And we're really going to see, see what goes on. No, yeah. I think they're still on the honeymoon. Still but, on the honeymoon. But even yeah. when they get the apartment, you know, just like with us, 
It's exciting. Like, yes, when we bought our car together, we was excited about that. But when it's time to come home from work every day, you, start, you realize the person ain't going nowhere. People come in with their moods if they had a bad yeah, day. Yeah, you would like for the person to wash the dishes that you haven't got up all day. <laughs> and then it sets in like, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't like this person. Yeah, so um, that one is still fresh. My personal prediction is I feel like he doesn't have much personality. I could be wrong, yeah. but um, I don't see it working. What's your prediction for them? If she gets bored, um, she might roll with it just because. Bored? Yeah, the, the steak and eggs guy. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, okay, put, put the steak and eggs to the side. What about his personality? It's, Do you very, think it's, that... very, it's very dry. Mm. Um, as well as his sense of humor. I don't um, even know when he'd be joking. So, she may be like, okay, well, you know, it's not that bad. Maybe we'll grow into something. So, if she has that attitude and they don't get no arguments, it's a possibility. Very slim. That she could still rock with it. Now, the decision day of them staying married, I still wait a few months after that. Because you don't know what's going to happen. All right. What's the next couple? We're going to save the best for last. Okay. So, Virginia and Eric. I, okay, from from the stats, I didn't see this working because he's older. He's divorced. And he seems like he's looking for a calm life with his wife coming home, cooking dinner. Fair. And um, he just seems like he's, I think he's like 39 or something like he's that. like a pilot, I think. Yeah. So, he's just looking to start a family, have an easy, breezy life. And she still seems, she's like, what, 25 or 26, something yeah. like that. But she still seems like, turn up over here. Where are we going for happy Party hour? More. And um, I couldn't see them two meshing. But surprisingly, so far, they're hitting it off. Well, we saw it wasn't really like a, like a real riff, but it was a conversation that they was having. Like, um, you still have guy friends. They mm. need to know I'm the husband. And you shouldn't be hanging out with them like that. It don't look right. But that so, also could be because he's older and she's still. Yeah. Now, hopefully, with quarantine and uh, COVID, she's not going to be hanging out like that. <laughs> so he can't get mad. She oh, will be God. staying home due yeah. to the spread of the, the virus. So um, I'm hoping that will keep their relationship intact. And other than that, they seem like they enjoy each other. Yeah. I, I, I feel like... Um, they probably just hyping that up for the show. But I definitely think she likes her husband. And although he's um, older, they seem like they have a lot of fun together. And they get each other. Mm -hmm. And they have a good time. I feel like she brings out the fun side of him. And um, I think it could work. I think it could work. Like I said, in the beginning with the stats, I was like, this ain't going to work. But yeah. actually, they, they've been vibing. They've been she, getting along She's with loving. He's loving. I see that. All right. Last thing. So our predictions is they're going to last. Yeah. So the next one is Brianna and Vincent. I like this couple. I like I like this couple because he kind of remind me of you. But I, I, I don't want to be negative, but oh, excuse me. <laughs> I think he's a little too excited about it. Um, the relationship, um, like almost like he's in love. Like okay, he sees <laughs> no no like oh, some God. of the things he's saying. Can the man be hopeful? He seemed too happy. Just let it rock a little bit more, bro, before you talk like that. Um, I get that he's happy that they got connected and he can see why. Great. Um, however, again, I think he's too lovey-dovey, too romantic-like. And, you know, feelings-wise, she may not be exactly where he is. We'll see. That's just my own thoughts. Um, you know, he's, he's talking too happy to me. And it's like, yo, bro, it's only been a week, too. Like, calm down. Like, you don't know what it's like living with her yet. You don't know her bad side yet. Get to know those things before, like, oh, my God, it was match made in heaven. It was wonderful last night. And it's like, ah, uh, come Stop. on, bro. He's like, he's wrong. happy. He's I want wrong. him to be happy. He seems like a good guy. You know, he got a lot going for himself. He's a big gang like I am. So, you know, I like him already. But that's just my little pet he, peeve. He does seem um a little anxious. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Stop. I feel bad. <laughs> this is a little bit. Yeah, like 
And it's kind of giving me the vibes like, would he just have felt like that if they had hooked him up with anybody? Like, it seems like he just wants somebody to love. He's romantic. He's very romantic. A little maybe emotional. You know? Well, we'll see. I mean, he seems like a great guy. I don't have any yeah. issues with that. But some of the things... But also, I think I, th <laughs> I think she's starting to see that too. Because at first it was like, oh, wow, he's cute. We're on the same page. And like... The last episode that they was having dinner on the beach and he was just pouring out his feelings, like just going hardcore with it. And she kind of was like, okay, yeah, thank you. But it's uh -huh. like, you know, <laughs> can we ease into it? So I, did, I hope she don't hurt him. That's it. That's all I have to say about that. I wish him well, but it, it, to me, it's still a question mark. Yeah, he's um definitely a lover and he, he wants to give his love to somebody. But I can see it working, you know. God oh, bless him. <laughs> Stop. And you ain't, ain't, ain't I, want, I want to work out. I really do. <laughs> okay. So last but not least, child. Chris and Paige. Lord Jesus. We had to say the best for last. Mm. Oh, man. This guy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so many things. Oh, my goodness. Where I feel he puts on a little too much as far as his persona, his work ethic, and his accomplishments. Um, where nice though his behavior doesn't match the accomplishments where unfortunately <laughs> as a black man mm. has made me question his accomplishments on whether he really is a finance manager and a restaurant owner meaning you know now, first of all those two have, things don't even match right it's just weird but go ahead i'm thinking if he's a finance manager and he's a restaurant owner maybe the restaurant owner is like an investment portion for him what well, well, yeah whatever um, I can't see him checking on his restaurant every day and then, like, again, his actions and his behavior very hypocritical. Um, I agree. Okay, he's very much in the church. Um, That's another is, thing I'm a little sketchy on. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, which is all right. Mm -hmm. And Pastor, he came out of a recent, uh, like... Engagement. Engagement. Yeah. Two months before two the show. Two or three months afterwards, he wants to participate in the show. <laughs> So then, unfortunately, you question, like, okay, are you doing this to prove something to your ex? Are you doing this to prove something to yourself? Yeah. Or Seems are like you really rebound. looking for love and maybe you really can't stand being alone? So you want to hurry up and get married so you can be with somebody? There are a lot of guys and women out there that's like that, which, hey, I don't judge them for that. It is what it is. Um, but... It's just so many things with this guy that happened. I'll let you take uh, the wheel with that because in less than like 24, 48 hours, this guy's got a lot of drama. It ain't nothing else to do but bash him because it's not looking good. Okay, to piggyback off of what you said, he nothing he says matches, for real. Like when they were showing him in the beginning, he's picking out his tux and stuff. You're like, man, this is a young brother. He got it going on. Look at Sharp. I love the tux, by the way. Yeah. Him and the other gentleman we just mentioned. Yeah, Vincent. Vincent. You know, you're looking like, oh, man, he's a young Sharp black dude. professional doing his thing. He got it together. And um, I was like, she's a young black professional female doing her thing, too. Very accomplished people. I'm like, this might be good. It's going to be a good season. Then the show start, and he's like, oh... You know, she better not be ugly. And then it's like the shallowness start coming in. I'm like... Not, yeah, she's not what I'm used to. But, you know what, I pray to God and hopefully it works out. It's like... It's like... No, so that that was sign number one for me. It's like, you're very shallow, right? So, the, according, this is a guy who has a restaurant and he's finance and he's a professional. It's just like very juvenile the way he was talking about We're it. We're going to have a baby tonight. Like, he already... Yeah. Like, so, that's another thing where I was like, this, this doesn't sound like a business owner or somebody who's this accomplished because he seems very juvenile. Like, he seems very <laughs> immature. Yeah. And he just goes downhill from, from there. It's like from the time she comes down the aisle... I feel like he made it very obvious that he was not attracted to her. Then, at the wedding, he's talking to her, her bridesmaids about how, you know, she ain't really no trophy wife. And she's not what he would go for. But he'll, deal, but he'll deal with it. Like, <laughs> and that's when I'm just like, I got to defend Paige because it's like, bro, you ain't all that either. You know, like... Why you eat? first of all? Why would you say that to her family and her friends? And why are you saying that on the wedding date? Even if it's true, it's just a big 
no no where now yeah. okay he's coming off arrogant and disrespectful so then again you question his character even more exactly like whether he's really truthful and he's supposed to be religious i don't i don't buy that like come on <laughs> so another thing first of all before we keep going on chris dr pepper pastor cow why y'all pick him why y'all pick him seriously Y'all knew what y'all was doing. I'm sorry. And this is where I feel like the show is scripted. Yep. Because why would you take somebody that was just engaged two months ago and put them in a show to be with that girl? Like, is this a surprise? The way he's acting? It's not a surprise. He can't even handle it. He's crying every two seconds. He's breaking down. Because he wasn't really emotionally ready for this journey. He's forcing it. In a exactly. Way. And then what else? It still ain't over. What other uh -oh. problems you got? I'll let you leave that. Go ahead. Because oh, I don't want to miss nothing. And you're like, nope, that's not what happened. Let me tell you what happened first. <laughs> so, okay. Bump, the experts picking him. They did that on purpose. Another thing that I find weird after years of watching this show is how come they never leave at the altar, right? If he was so stuck on her looks and he's looking at her like, damn, she's not cute. Why not just be like, nah, I can't go through with this marriage and turn away. There got to be something in them contracts that's making them go through with the marriage at the altar because nobody ever walks away at the altar and says, hey, no, this is not me. I feel like they don't really have that option. They have they have the clause, though, remember? You told me. Something, I mean, nobody says that, but they make it seem on the show like you can get to the altar and say no, but nobody ever says no, even though they don't like these people and they know. Right, they see them walk in. <laughs> they sizing them up. Unfortunately, the guy has that, uh, advantage because of the way the ceremonies are structured where yeah, he's, he's out waiting. there waiting for the woman mm -hmm. to come down. So he could be like, whether well, she got a nice body, whether she's beautiful, um, whether it's somebody that he's normally attracted to or not. Um, and then again, you know, you're not attracted to the person, but it, it's kiss time during the ceremony and they have to kiss. Yeah, Why would you kiss? Um, then it, it gets worse. I hate to fast forward things. but Oh, yeah. Sorry. So after he's not attracted to her, what happens? He has sex with her twice. Twice. First, second then. time's a charm. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's not funny. Like, he is so... Just first so of all, I think we like two, three episodes in, but it feels like 25 because every minute he has a situation. It's like homegirl can't even enjoy the honeymoon because She's being very, loaded. very nice with all these uh, quote-unquote hiccups. That's why I said I feel like he has with her. I feel like, like you said, I feel like it's some type of clause, or it's like the the producers are telling her you gotta stick it through, you gotta stick it through. But then you say like fifty thousand, they get charged. If they, I don't know. This is oh, speculation. I don't. Okay. I don't work for Married at First Sight. I'm just saying this is what the rumors are. Only people that have been on the show know for sure what what they tell them, mm -hmm. and nobody says that. I guess because they sworn into secrecy, but um. What happened? Oh, so they wake up the next day and um, <laughs> he goes to get breakfast for them and disappears for three hours in the hotel. So she gets dressed like, what the hell? He went to get breakfast and he disappeared. So he finally comes back like, what's up? And then he don't bring no food. You got somebody starving, hungry, uh... waiting for three hours for the food. Then you come back after you go on missing and you come back empty handed. I would have been pissed because I know I've been hungry. But anyway, so... She's like, what's up? You said you went to get breakfast. He's like, oh, you know, um, I kind of had a mental breakdown in the hallway. For three hours. And um, I'm just not physically attracted to you. After he banged it out for two times the night before, maybe even in the morning before he disappeared for breakfast. What, like, what type of person are you? Mind you, this is supposed to be a godly man, <laughs> right? Like, he's so together. Lies, 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 lies. Then... The show proceeds. So she meets with his family later that day because um she has to get to know his family or whatever, X, Y, and Z. So she tells them, like, yo, he told me he told me he's not physically attracted to me. And she says that to his mother and his father. And the mother's like, Well, you sure it ain't you? You know how mothers be defending their sons. Anyway, so the father's like, Well, I think you're attractive. But the father's a creep. But we ain't gonna get into him. He's a creep. And then it comes back 
to Chris that his father, you know, the father's like, yo, yo, how you saying you're not attracted to him? You bang it out twice. So he looking at his father like, she told you that? Yep. So he's like, yeah, she told me that. Then, <laughs> then he goes back to her and it's like kind of lighting her up. Like, yeah, are you tell him chest talking? Chest eyes and they're like, yo, I'm from Chicago. We don't do that. <laughs> it's like, what they got to do with it, yeah, bro? What, the, what they got to do with it? Like, how are you talking to my parents about sex? Like, I don't even do that. So she like, well, I mean, you just told me that. I know who to confide in. So that was that day. Continue. The show goes on. Mind you, this is all in a matter of a day or two. The next day, they try to pick up the pieces. She forgives him. I don't know how she forgives him after basically he just took, had sex with her and said he's not attracted. So she forgives him. Next day, here he comes again. He disappears. Comes back crying on the couch. I just, I don't want to tell you because I don't want you to, to judge me. Eventually, the, the producers are like, you need to tell her. You need to tell her. Finally, he tells her, oh, my ex fiance is pregnant. Lord, child. Strike two. And you would think, it's hey. Three strikes. It is. So everybody in the group is like, what the hell? Like, what type of guy is this? <laughs> They've been saying that from day one. Like, this guy's a little weird. So, and they're feeling the same way as Paige. Every time they see him, it's another piece of drama. So they all looking at her like, yo, what you going to do? And sis decides to stay. That's why I said there's some type of clause in this show because all of that after he, okay, he doesn't hit it. Especially the kid is like the final. Yeah, he doesn't hit it. First of all, he doesn't hit it twice. Then tell you, you ugly, basically. Now he got a baby on the way. Mind you, you only married to this guy like two days. And chances are, <laughs> ideally, you didn't want to marry somebody with a child and you put that in the applications and at the audition. So you're already not getting your fair share, even though, you know, it's, it's nobody's fault. They didn't know that he would have somebody pregnant, neither did he. But still, it's like... They kind of knew because he was engaged. Right. You're settling <laughs> You're settling for a package that you didn't sign up for. Yeah. So and it's that's a loaded. Issue. First of all... A regular woman dating a guy that like him, if they found out about a situation like that, would let him go. So you dating a total, complete stranger that you married to for two, three days. Leave. Like, I couldn't understand why she didn't try to get out of the show. Because I would have I told them, like, I didn't sign up for this. When in Married at History, First Sight, um, first sight History, have you ever seen that happen? That should have been her way out of the show. Because I don't understand... Why even continue on yeah, with that's it? That's next level stuff. It's not like, oh, who is this person? He's a, an ugly, awful person. I didn't. Nah, like, that's it's not too the, much. Yeah, it's that's too not much. the case. I this wouldn't is sign up for else. that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, um, basically, it's full of drama, but we still watch it. I still like it. It's exciting. And yeah, we've been watching it for years. I personally, as a guy, watch it with her because I learn stuff about relationships. It helps us to look at. Um, mm -hmm. the qualities that me and you have as a couple versus seeing other people that clearly don't have it um, and learning, you know, what it's about as far as relationships and how they're supposed to go. Yeah. So for me, it's a learning experience where I get to pick and choose um, people's uh, relationships and see what's the benefits of it, whatnot. Um, so how many years have I been watching this show? Since we've been together, basically, so yeah. like eight years. Yeah, this guy, uh, Chris, is really going for like the crown and the trophy <laughs> of like the worst husband or married at first sight he ever. He is. It's just horrible. It's a, it's a rough start, you know, and, you know. And then the crying. It's the crying for me. It's the crying for me. Yeah. Why are you always crying, guy? Like, I ain't going to front. If I was in his case, I'd be crying too. If my ex got a kid after I did marry the first sight and married somebody else, it's like, oh my God, it keeps getting worse for me. Um, but she didn't well, go nowhere. Think, but they paused. Let's just rewind it a little bit. Even if she never came with that news that she was pregnant, he was a jerk still. Yeah. So it don't Very matter. Very hypocritical. Yeah. Hypocritical. So he seems like somebody quickly that would judge somebody else. Yeah. So she was making a lot of mistakes, certain things she didn't have together. You he seemed like, yeah, he'd call her out and say, you need to get it together. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, based on the way he's starting, he can't really say much to anybody about anything because his joint is all over the place. So um, 
that's the weird part about it because when it gets to the nitty gritty and it's time to tell your wife what she needs and needs not to do, she gonna bring up, well, how could you say anything with all the problems you got? Da, 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 da. So the argument's gonna get crazy. Um, so it's just not looking good on his part. I wish I could back him up, but there's nothing I can back him up on. Yeah, but we're gonna keep rocking out watching this season. We're probably not gonna do every episode. We're probably gonna wait till somewhere in the middle. We felt we had to talk about this to let y'all know we're keeping up with the show. Yeah. Um, this is how we feel about it so far. And then again, we'll wait for some more things to stir up. But like I said, it gets real when they've been in the apartment together after a few weeks, oh a few months. Oh, my God. And, you know, there's a routine. Who's cooking dinner? Um, this person isn't cleaning up. This person is not uh, affectionate. This I'm, person is X, Y, Z. I got a little prediction. What's your prediction? I bet you he don't own the restaurant or he don't he don't work. I'm telling you, it's going to be something with his job, too, I feel. Because... See, but look, this is what I'm saying. Something is off. Now something you're, is off. Now you're questioning it. Why yeah. are you questioning it? Because he got all these things coming up. Exactly. So I feel like... And it's a shame that we have to do that and take that apart. But, you know, based on your movements, how do I even know you are who you say you are? Let's make sure we're on the same page. Oh, who you say? Oh. She got better voice than me, but anyway, we'll keep y'all posted on the next episode. After a few episodes, we married what at first sight. What are your thoughts and predictions? Please put them in the comment. Let's yeah. Let's talk what about is there anything that we missed as far as the couples and certain things to look out for? Certain qualities about them that may uh, turn into a different like outcome as far as whether they'll stay married or not. Decision day. Um, also, if you haven't commented on our page, check it out. Me on Cloud Fetty. Leave a comment. We got some yes. dope videos. Please subscribe. Um, please share this video. But definitely this season has been a very interesting season so far. We and it hasn't started. been many episodes. Yeah. Yeah. So you got some characters in here. And uh, we loving every minute of it. Yes. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace. Later.